welcome back to my channel and today I have this really pretty purple halo eye and I really like this look it was a lot of fun to do so yeah if you guys want to see how I got this look then go ahead and keep watching as always we are starting off by priming the lid with the MAC soft ochre paint pot and just going to coat the whole lid with this product then dipping into this beige shade from the Cafon D Shade and Light palette and I'm just going to set my whole eyelid. Okay, now it's time to start with the fun color. So I'm first dipping in to this light pink shade and I'm going to dust that all in my crease. So we're just doing circular motions and windshield wiper motions to make sure this is really, really diffused. And for this beginning color, I'm just focusing it in the whole entire crease. Going back into this palette, I'm going to pick up this light lilac shade. And we're blending this in as well, really diffusing the colors. But this time, we're focusing the color on the inner and outer corner, starting to build up that halo eye. Alright, now picking up this more of this hot fuchsia color, I'm going to start really focusing this color on the inner and outer corner, really blending that in and creating some dimension. Now I'm picking up the Morphe 35P palette and I am first picking up this matte bright purple shade and I'm going to start lightly adding that into the same places. Next I'm going in with this deeper toned purple and we're just going to add that in as well. This is all about starting with lighter colors and really building it up step by step if you want to get that really perfect blend airbrush look. It does seem like a lot of work and a lot of steps but it is very much worth it because you get a beautifully blended out look. Lastly, to build up that intensity, we're taking this dark, dark purple that's almost black. And I'm really going to focus this right in the very deepest parts of the inner and outer corner. I'm now taking this MAC pigment and this is in the shade English Glit. Picking this up on a flat brush and just spraying it with some Fix Plus and then applying it right to the center of the lid just patting it on and then we're going to start to blend it out so that it's not so harsh on the edges. I'm picking up my blending brush and going over those edges to fuse the two together. I quick went ahead and did some face makeup and I'm moving it to the lower lash line. So first, I'm going to pick up that black purplish color from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to start by running this along my lower lash line. And I'm reaching back into the Morphe 35B and I'm going to pick up this purple that we used earlier mixed with this one just to give us kind of that glow that's on the outer edge of the shadow. We're going to blend this in to the lower lash line and we're going to try to connect this up with the shadow. Next I'm going to go on with mascara and I'm just using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Okay, so I went ahead and added some lashes and now we're going to do some highlighting. So first I'm going to highlight the face using Champagne Pop. Okay, now we're going into the Morphe 35E and I'm picking up this very light pink shimmery shade. Going to pack that onto my brush and wet it, and we're going to use this for the inner corner highlight. I am going to put this on the brow bone as well. Taking a little bit of this and just adding it over top of the places that I already highlighted, just to kind of tie in that color. 
Okay, so moving on to the lips, I'm using this Anastasia of Beverly Hills liquid lipstick, and this is in Sad Girl. And then over top of this lipstick, I'm going to add some of the ColourPop Gloss in Wham. Okay, and then also in the very center of the lips, I'm going to put a little bit of this pigment that we used on the eyelid. Okay, and then of course to finish off the look, we're going to add some setting spray. So yeah, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like this video. I had a lot of fun creating this and I've had a lot of fun working with color recently so if you have like a certain color palette that I sh you think I should make a look with then let me know down in the comments. If you like this video and this look make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment about what you guys want to see next. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Bye. Bye.